And so, today, the day preceding Tuesday, yet not quite Thursday, is upon us. For today shall be named Wednesday. <laughs> Happy Wednesday, everybody. It's that most magical time of the week where we try and make you laugh. <laughs> so, welcome. We're so glad you're here. Happy hump day, everybody. We got a great group of people in the chat. Hey, everybody in the chat. Happy Wednesday. We have an amazing surprise for everybody tonight. I can hardly contain myself for the remaining three seconds, but here we go. Coming back, coming outside of the curtain into the spotlight, the man, the myth, the legend joins me tonight. Kel Surprise, our stream runner, Tossy Alabastro. Welcome, my friend. Hello. Oh, hello. hello. I was trying to do my best, Randy. Hello. There Hi. it is. Welcome, everybody. Whoa. Welcome, Tossy, to the stream. Hey. Hey. We got Mariah hey. in the chat. Hey, Mariah. Zan Canellas, thank you so much for that <laughs> amazing subscription this month. Five strong months. We're so thankful for you. Hello. Oh, Littlefoot's here. We got <gasps> Littlefoot. Hey, we got Christine's in here, Jen Martinelli. Look at everybody. Yeah, this is exciting. This, I, I get to actually is, talk and yes. say stuff. How does it feel to come out from, from the sound dampening curtains into the spotlight? It's too bright. I don't know how you gems do it. It's too bright Listen, for me. These aren't blue, <laughs> blue filtering glasses for nothing, my friend. <laughs> it feels good. Well, Hello. Yeah. Welcome, everybody. We're so excited to have our wonderful uh, co-host tonight, Tossi Alabastro, our stream runner, also known as Kareem Bananas, joining us. Fear not, Randy is all good. Um, him and his lovely uh, family are just tucked away into the mountains getting some respite. So it's he's... I wouldn't be surprised if he hops on just to see what's going on. Tonight. Tucked but, like a uh, warm hand in a glove. Just tucked yes, away. Just, just, yeah, a little oven mitt, just toasty and warm. Gathering cookies or baked goods. Yeah. Whatever, whatever you... Yep, yep, we're just going <laughs> to keep going. So let's give a big <laughs> shout out to our amazing moderators tonight. We got Legit Brosy in the house, also known as Bridget Losey. Give short some love in the chat. Yep, right? And we also have the amazing, I'm not going to do as good as Randy, Samantha, Samantha Ritchie. Samantha uh, Ritchie. Ritchie. Hey, all I did are castanets now. We'll be good. Bruh. <laughs> Mariah's got a weird echo, she says. Mariah, why don't you give the, uh, the webpage a uh, refresh and see if that helps out. We have an amazing game for you tonight. Tonight's game will teeter the line, will ride the razor's edge of inappropriate, but not really, questions and potential answers. Are you ready for this, Tom? I'm so ready. Let's see what we got. <laughs> I don't, I'm just so reacting usually, to these. Yeah, usually you're like in the back, like I can hear you sometimes laughing or I, you know, like I can, I just feel the laughter through the stream sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so tonight you get to be in front, front and center with El, with uh, on the interwebs. In case you don't know this, um, Tossie's got his own stream, and um, yeah, can't see your face. You've got an audio oh, panel. Oh, I, I do. <laughs> that, that that was on Listen, purpose. Listen, <laughs> the things you don't know that happen behind the scene. Um. Yeah, so in case you don't know, uh, Tossie's got his own page, Kareem Bananas, that he streams uh, a couple of days a week with an amazing community that focuses on positivity. And um, he does games, he does art, he does chats, he does all sorts of cool stuff. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll hawk it for you. Go follow him. Yeah, come follow me. I offer and good he... co-working vibes. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. We talk about um, art. We talk yeah, about Dan. You don't stop it. I do. When you're not around, I'm like, that Dan Demers guy? He's crazy. What a rube. Chef's kiss. <laughs> salt bay. Yay, salt bay. <laughs> um, all right. So if you're just joining us, welcome. We are Hillburn Theater. We are a small 80-year-old theater company right here in the Bay Area. Uh, we are currently sheltered in place, like many of us, many of you, and uh, we decided that we needed to entertain people and make you laugh. So what did we do? We took to the internet. 
And so here we are. So welcome. We're going to play we a little here. quiz kit. Um, so if you're just joining us for the first time and haven't played with us, welcome. We're so glad you're here. We're glad you stopped by our little corner of the internet. Uh, and to play with us, you're going to hit, click a little button called Quiz Kit if you hover your mouse just to the right of Tossie's lovely face. Uh, it'll pop out and say Quiz Kit. You click that, hit Manage Profile. And if you're using a tablet or cell phone, it'll be in the description below us. Right down below. Yeah, three choice. I have well, a weird light on my face. I don't know what that is. Anyway, um, and so we're going to start playing the game. Remember that this is um, a 20, there's 20 questions. Nope, there's 30 questions. <laughs> <laughs> there's 30 questions and they're 20 seconds each. You have 20 seconds to uh, answer the question correctly or incorrectly, if that's so be it. And the more, the faster you answer, the more points you get the faster you answer it incorrectly the more points you lose isn't that right Toss? that is correct and the points so, yeah don't matter the points don't matter they mean everything and yet nothing at all yeah it's it's quite the paradox it is it's it is pandora's box <laughs> not to be confused with the drag queen that's right that's right <clears throat> Um, all right, so I think let's jump in yeah. to um, our lovely, I've already clicked the button. We're Amazing. off to a great start, Amazing. everybody. Uh, so this is how it's gonna work. We're gonna put the rules up on the screen because Randy always says- We must have rules. We must have rules. We must have them, always. So the rules are gonna pop up. If you don't see the rules, please, please, please give a shout, give a yell. Give a noise for all right now. Right right now. <laughs> I'm just trying. I'm just trying to be the best Randy it can be for today. Listen, you be you. You be you. <laughs> I like. I like when Randy one, does one of these around the mic. He's like, he kind of like circles it. Uh huh. Uh, he gets that like dynamic. He does. Uh -huh. like, oh. Yeah, it's pretty wild. It's yeah. pretty wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Technique. All right, Tossie, are you ready? I am ready. Okay, I have the distinct joy of reading the questions this week. So hang on to your butts, as Samuel L. Jackson says <laughs> yes. in that iconic film. Jurassic, Jurassic Park. Park. He actually Question says number it one. in Kong Island. Really? Yeah. Hang on to your butts. He says it again. So I'm like, hmm, he's trying to make it a thing. He is. It's, it's, it's a catchphrase. Mm -hmm. Remember, tonight's quiz is about rude sounding words that actually aren't rude. <laughs> so here we go. Question one. Tossie. Yes. What is a dongle? <laughs> is it a small device that can be connected to a computer, a burr hanging on an animal's fur, a large bell's clapper, a Super Mario enemy. Oh man. Oh yeah, I could play along this time. Yes, you do it. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, folks. Uh, I think for, for a time I had considered Aretha Dongle as my drag name. Ooh. As a play on uh, Aretha. Franklin? Yeah. It's like, you know, I'm still, I'm, it's workshopped. It's being workshopped. <laughs> yeah, there's a think tank somewhere for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just a bunch of people sitting in a, in a container going, eh, no, I like it. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's sleep on it. Let's sleep on it. Right. Uh, pink. Does that work? Okay. Are you ready? Let's go. Here we go, folks. The correct answer is a small device to be connected to a computer. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Aretha, Aretha Dongle. Dongle. Hello, I fit in all holes. <laughs> oh my, TOS somewhere. Here we go, <laughs> question two, Tossie. What is angina? I'm sorry. Is it A, mm -hmm. it, what is angina? Mm -hmm. A, a country near Croatia, A, Condition marked, it's room B. A condition marked, a condition, there's no A, it's a condition marked by a severe pain in the chest, a condition marked by weak kidneys, my great aunt. Oh, that's that's easy. It's I've met your great aunt. Right? Great. Not my aunt, my great aunt. Your great aunt. <laughs> I like how Fireman is, is commenting on the... Um, the <laughs> Double entendres. Yes. Or yes. The, the topical. We love it. Angina. If you said that out loud at the bus station, you'd probably get like some interesting looks. Like, 
Would you? What's that? Mm-hmm. I mean, it's again, the game name is rude sounding words that are not. Yes. <clears throat> so, so far, we're living up to the title. <laughs> it's working. It's oh, working. I haven't it's even working. voted. Hang on, let me get one of these. Let me get one of these. Uh, uh, Did you get it in time? Time's up, my friend. <gasps> Just thought I'd, I'd throw one of those out there. there oh, it landed right on your face. Look at that. Yep. Let's Score look. zero. I'm just here. We know. go. The correct answer is a condition marked by a severe pain in the chest. Oh, a lot of people getting that right. That's great. All right, let's jump into question How'd number three. Know? How'd you guys know that? What is an entero bang? <laughs> Stop it. One of those old timey toy pistols with flags. A piece of withheld information in an investigation punctuation that combines an exclamation and question mark a volcano eruption that doesn't breach the earth's surface something tells me you need to like roll these into your uh pre-show speeches when, when listen when we can in. come back the pre-show yeah. speeches are gonna be off the wall mariah great aunt angina yeah, that's a tough one. I can't say that five times fast. Mm-mm. Great. Uh, mm-mm. I'm not nope, even going to try. Nope, 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 nope. nope, nope. <laughs> <laughs> Intero bang. Gong, gong. That's redundant. <laughs> Did I get anything? I don't know. We're going to find out here. And the correct answer is punctuation that combines an exclamation and a question mark. That's an actual thing. It is. It's called an entero bang. (laughs) So it would be like this. Are we streaming tonight? Huh? Ooh. The flex. Is it is it Wednesday? Are we live? Are we live? All right, let's Ooh. jump into qu- let's jump into question number four. Ooh. What does a mm, I'm gonna have a Randy problem. Mm-mm. What what does a uh, philatelist collect? <laughs> philatelist? Yes. Is it coins, stamps, newspapers, cans, and bottles? Latalist. This is a very midnight kind of question. No, it's a philatelist. It's a philatelist. Look how that's spelled. Is it coins, stamps, newspapers, or cans and bottles? Mm. Hey, Rosie's here. Hey, Rosie. Hi, Rosie. I think <laughs> I'm in the positives. So I better not mess this up. <laughs> Wait till it gets to zero. How many questions? 20? 20 today? Per round? Thir- uh, t- uh, 15 per round. Oh, 15. I'll gotcha. So it is. It's philatelist. And the correct answer <laughs> is stamps. Oh, if only my index finger were just a bit heavier. <laughs> we have gone one lower. Philatelist. Hello, Sarah. Are you a philatelist? <laughs> I like really liking those stamps. All right, here we go. Toss. Yes, Dan. What is a crepuscule? Cur- crepuscule? <laughs> what is crepuscular? Cur- <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm pulling Randy. What is crepuscular about Stephanie Meyer's characters. They are shiny. They are creepy. They are written well. They are related to Twilight. They are written well, clearly. <laughs> Fully have you ever read those books? I have Somebody, not... <laughs> the editor is just, what happened? <laughs> They're like, mm, great. Mm-hmm. Send, 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 send. Listen, you know it's bad if I catch them. Yeah, you might want to get yourself checked if you uh, catch yourself a crepuscular. <laughs> what is crepuscular? Crepuscular about... St- 
<laughs> me saying it a million times it's, isn't going to change no. my understanding of it. It's maybe like super buff crepe crepes. Crepes? They're Crep. swole crepes. They're, They're swole, swole crepes. <laughs> They're sweet and swole. <laughs> Oh no. All right, the correct answer is they are related to Twilight. What? A lot of lot of disparage, you know, scatter shots on that one. A lot of people Oh my god. Did. Perfect time for a flex, everybody. There you go. There you go. Show me what you got. Oh. Super buff crepes, aren't those just pancakes? No, so in the hierarchy of <gasps> swole cakes, we'll call them. Uh-huh. You have crepes, who are uh, the um, very thin type. You have pancakes, which are just like neutral ground. And then you have like, Ooh. I don't know if you've ever seen it, but the, the Japanese moon cakes yes. that are like super like swole. Those are swole cakes. Yes. That sounds like a great name for a breakfast joint. Swole cakes. Swole cakes. Oof. And you can put a little protein in there. Yeah. Oh, my God. All right. All right. All right. Let's keep jumping in. <laughs> All right, next question. Question number six. Tossie, what is a bunghole? The hole in a wine barrel or wooden keg, the entrance to a burrow, the end of a rifle, or is it an outhouse? I'm not sure, but we did get 100 bits, so thank you. Hey, Jen Marnelli. Jen Marnelli for the biddies. So it's for, thanks for the biddies. Thanks for showing us the biddies. Oh, you're the best. Thank you so much. I think the answer is E. All right, hold on. I got to get there. I forgot to click a button, so everyone's <laughs> waiting for this. Oh, is that right? What is a bunghole? Is it an outhouse, an entrance to a burrow, the hole in a wine barrel, or wooden keg, the end of a rifle? Mm. Bunghole. I feel like my brothers called me that once. That was very much a 90s thing, it, thanks to a little cartoon called Beavis and Butthead. Oh, bungo. Oh. Oh. Don't Yo. think about it, though. Don't think about it. I tried not to. It was, it was tough. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. You're gonna go, we're going to go down a rabbit hole. All right. The answer is the hole in a wine barrel or wooden keg. <clears throat> like a we pony keg. You got a little pony keg going? Yeah. Well, speaking of wooden keg, I'm at the very bottom of one with my oh, points I'm here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. it's okay. Let's jump into question seven, though. Let's do it. How would one perform... <laughs> Wait a minute. Give my brain a second. The talus. <laughs> How would one perform defenestration? Is Shut. it by cutting down trees? By concentrating too hard, by picking a wedgie, by th by throwing someone out a window. <laughs> what is this madness? <laughs> what is this madness? Here we go, folks. Question right, here seven. We go. How would one perform defenestration? Defenestration. I can see this being. Uh, a way to describe a character in, in one of our D&D sessions. Maybe. And you walk in and this person... <laughs> Immediately feel defenestrated. <laughs> <laughs> By going through a bunghole? <laughs> Perfect. Nice circle back on that one. There it is. We all can circle back, circle back, circle back. Uh, defenestration. All right. What did you think it was, Toss? Uh, By concentrating too hard. The actual answer is by throwing someone out a window. There's a word for that. It's called defenestration. <laughs> you better watch it. Or I'm going to issue some defenestration. <laughs> and then you're not going to like it because you're going to go out that window. And we're three stories high. It's we're hurt. two stories high. All right. Question eight. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> I've never seen any of these questions. So when I read the question before I actually say it, okay, here we go. Question eight. What is orogeny? What is orogeny? Or orogeny or origin? Orogeny. Orogeny? Orogeny. Is that the first? Is it 
a love of public speaking, <laughs> a bacteria that lives in your mouth, process of mountain formations by the folding of the Earth's crust. Did you misspell progeny? <laughs> Wait, there we go, folks. That's one Question of eight. Yep. <laughs> Oro Jenny is my new drink. Please welcome to the stage, Oro Jenny. Uh, He's a Crest spokesperson. Oro Jenny. <laughs> Oreo Jenny. <laughs> yes. Oro Jenny. Oro Jenny. Thank like, you, like, Madam Harbinger. Like orogenous. I who knows? Oh, Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks. The correct answer is the process of mountain formation by the folding of the Earth's crust. That one. That was a wild guess on my. That end. was a wild. That was that was a that was a that was an intense one. That oh was yeah. Intense. Oh yeah. All right. Question Ooh. number nine. In architecture, in architecture, <laughs> what is a fornication? In architecture, what is a fornication? Is it a tip type of handrail? A structure shaped like an arc or vault? A form of plaster made of mud, clay and moss? Hollow vertical grooves in a shaft of a column? You see, Dan, when the uh, daddy lumber. No, no. <laughs> no. Nope. Hard pass. <laughs> Meets the skill saw. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. They create beautiful, beautiful furniture. <laughs> Or furniture. The story of Lincoln Logs told by Tussie. <laughs> Just Listen, all you I need to will... know is a ginormatron book. <laughs> so. Oh, paper cut. Mm. All right. The correct answer to question nine is a structure shaped like an arc or vault. You know, I was. A lot of pickle. May, a lot maybe, of pickle. Oh. Yeah, maybe six feet from Sam as she was writing these <laughs> and I try to mind my own business. I don't really like, like look at what they are, uh -huh, but uh -huh. occasionally I'll just see her go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, uh -oh. I could totally see her doing that too. Uh, all right. Question 10. Listen closely. What is formication? The cooling of diamonds, the crystallization of honey, the process of making countertops, or the sensation of tiny critters on the skin. California formication? Formication. Formication. She's doing it right now. She's <laughs> I can totally hear her doing it too. Uh, Californication. Um. Oh man. There's like no hints at all. Like I'm there's to... nothing. She's a master at these. Like I yeah. But you we know the thing is it so... doesn't seem super duper hard either. Like because the words seem so familiar because the root words, you know, they're just like you could do Wow, look at reservoir dogs flexing there. Whoa! <laughs> I had to add. I had to add. Oh, uh. For Micah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. It's the sensation of tiny critters on the skin. Yo! So you're like, you know, when you get the sensation, like, ah, there's a bug. Ah, whatever it is. Oh, look, it's right there. Are you going to eat it? He's eating it. <laughs> Amy and Dom. Mm. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Delicious points. I'm Ooh. sorry. I'm sorry. Littlefoot, I apologize. Oh, there's mine. Hey. Hey, hey, grab it. Yeah. 
Thanks for the proceed. Thanks, thanks for those bits. Yeah, thanks for showing Putting us your bits bitties. in the hat. Putting those bits in the hat. All right, let's jump into question eleven. What would you wait? Let's try that again. What would you use? Oh no, really? <laughs> what would you use penis stone for? Penis stone. Yes. Curse you, Sam. Curse you. <laughs> what would you use? I'm going to do this. What would you use penistone for? Making woolen cloths, sharpening weapons, protecting your tailbone, or pasta making? <laughs> Peniston. Peniston. You'll see it, and then you're all... Uh, you guys, here we go. Question 11. <laughs> the worst. The worst. Oh, snap. <laughs> for some reason this was the week of course this is the week randy's not here the one where i'm going like uh, it, yeah you're, you got a shoulder usually i'm the one like don't mantle. you mean this <laughs> i have the tables have turned yes 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 <laughs> my goodness what are people saying y'all doing great <laughs> All right, the correct answer is penistone mm -hmm. means making woolen clothing. Wow. I am doing so great at making incorrect choices. <laughs> you know, that's a special <laughs> skill that goes at the bottom. Hey, Mariah, hey! thank you. Thank you so much for those wonderful bits. Really appreciate Woo! it. Woo! Swim through these. Look at those. I gotta do the little like dancing. Ooh. Oh yeah. Ooh. These are the, the biddies, the bitty dance. De -de 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 -de. <laughs> thank you so much, Mariah. We really appreciate it. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's Fire jump man. into question twelve. Twelve, twelve. All right, let's do it. Damn it, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> what would you use? Mm. What would you use a tease hole for? <laughs> you said that with such earnestness. What would you use Rat it for? Rat catching, glass blowing, hair dressing, <laughs> setting down your penistone. <laughs> Here we go, folks. Question 12. Look at this. Trivia or education or both? Listen, it's a little bit of both. It's yeah. a little bit of both, I think. It's like reinforcing what we know now of Penistone. Right? You guys are, we're filling up your $3 word bag this week. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. I'm making a guess. I'm not even checking it twice. I just clicked Listen, on it. It sounded naughty. It. I have a feeling. I have a feeling you're going to get it. Yeah, you think so? Yep. I think everyone's going to get it. I'm feeling good. Oh. Hey, wow, thank you, Pam. Pam. Thank hey, you for giving. the gift sub. Hey. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Whoa, that's a lot of emoji. Yay. All right, the correct answer is for a tease hole, glass blowing. Ah. It's a glass blowing thing. It's so like when you're like. I don't know. I don't know specifically what it's called, but knowing Sam, she's got it ready to like post it. <laughs> Oh, yeah, maybe. Maybe she does. I don't know. Maybe. All right, let's jump into question 13. What is an example of a common copular verb? Okay. Okay. Is it is, hop, kiss, or sleep? <laughs> yes, little foot it is. It is actually a like a kiln. That you put mm -hmm. the um, the pipe and the glass into to keep it hot. Uh, if you uh, want to take a look, there's a great show called Blown Away. It is a glass blowing competition on they, Netflix. They just again, have new episodes, right? Yeah. Again, not a sponsor of our lovely show, but Hashtag we're going to hop it anyway. <laughs> yeah. If you guys know anyone at Netflix. Yeah. So, Tossie, yes? what is a cop common copular verb? I think... Kiss, kith. Oh, 
Almost. It uh, is. Ah. Is is a copular verb. Well, you can't spell kith without kith. So. This is true. This is true. Hey. Also, you were the only person who voted that way. <laughs> I think I think maybe I was just missing kisses. Oh. Ah. The hype train. <laughs> hey. Coming in. Coming right. We'll see, train. thank you so for those amazing bits. Hey, keep those hype coming, y'all. Let's go. <laughs> hey. Yes, the hype train. A toot toot. A beep beep. <laughs> All right, let's jump into question 14. What is a... Oh, no. Where's your conductor hat? What? <sighs> <laughs> what is a... <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> yeah, nine bits. Well, Dan is trying that. Hey! Let's, see if we, let's see if we can get to 50% of that height train. We're at 44. Yeah, so close. Six more percent. Okay, okay, you ready? What is mm -hmm. a vaginus? <laughs> I had to be careful. It took my brain. Okay, is it a Roman god, a newborn baby's first cry, a terrible disease, a mythical creature? <laughs> Again, Sam going, hey, hey. <laughs> Totally, you're just going, nah. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nailed it. Another word for Another angina. Word for angina. You guys, the bits tonight. Thank you so much. Yeah, I can't thank you guys enough. That's amazing. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you, everybody. Full chuckle this time. <laughs> Full chuckle this time. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure. <clears throat> All right, Tossy, what do you think it is? Hey, Eric and Adria, thank hey! you. And you guys made yeah. us hit the goal 51% yeah. of the hype train. The hype train. Let's keep it going. Come on, ride the choo-choo with choo-choo ride the train. Woot, woot. Oh, my God. The answer to vaginas <laughs> is a newborn baby's first yeah. cry. Did you get it right? I did get that right. Yay. Nice. I think it was that hype train that, that like, steered me. It was. Me. It was. It yeah. was the total hype train. Ah, Sam, thank you. 757 plus Sam. All right, let's jump into the last question of this round toss. I don't know how much more questions we can do, at least 15, but let's give it a shot. <laughs> Which of these words means the dot over an I or a J? Here we go. Is it? Who named these things? Is it a tittle? Is it a tit up? Is it a titular? Or is it a titter? <laughs> it sounds like a theater warm up, if you ask me. Right? Tittle, tit up, tittle, titter. 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 Wow. Look at that. Hey, Bridget, thanks for those bits. Thank you. You guys were at 60% of the hype train level one. Which means Whoa. we have an engine, and we got a caboose. Hey yo! Hey yo! <laughs> Level two, we get a dining car. I don't know. I'm just making. We it might. Up. We might. I mean, who knows? That's the way it works. Something from the trolley, dear. Yes, please. Can I have some spot of tea, please? Chocolate frog. Chocolate frog. <laughs> Show us your baby. All right. The answer to the the dot over an I or J is called. Just a oh. That's just a tittle. Oh. That's it. Just right there. Just a tittle. A little tittle for your tattle. Hey, just, hey, don't forget your tittles. <laughs> eight, eight of you guys got that correct. Yeah. Well done. No one's ever going to take that tittle away from you. Never. <laughs> All right. Let's get the drum roll, if oh, you please. Yes. Let's do it. Here we go. Winner drum roll. Round one. Ew. Amy and Dawn in first, followed by Rosie Issel and Pam in third. Congrats, everybody. Yeah. Okay, thank you for those amazing bits. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the bitties. Question yeah. scores this week. First place is Amy and Dawn. Second is Eric and Adria, Reservoir Dogs. And third is Christine. Wow, look at those points. Yes, look Holy at those moly. points. I, mean, I, get, I get one more flex. Here we go. 
Negative 76,000. There it is. Yeah. Amy and Don. Amy and Don. <laughs> right? When there's no prize, you come in hot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Shall we jump into round two? Oh, we got, do we have an announcement corners? I think so. I think we got some, some people a signal boost. So you're going to get the joy and the rapture of doing announcement corner dissonance with me ready mm -hmm. three two one announcement, announcement corner, corner. Hey. <laughs> that was everybody, fun welcome. i want to do it again we'll do it again don't worry announcement corner hey everybody welcome uh we got some amazing announcements this week uh first up uh on the 27th of this month we'll be doing our brand new show coffee and crowns so come check it out host uh phaedra tillery boughton will be hosting this amazing conversation with some phenomenal local bay area actors who are now all over the world doing amazing art uh anju hipotala uh don troop um and uh uh jasmine williams will be here it's just a great group of people come check us out again february 27th we'll be doing it in the afternoon i believe around three o'clock um, and so it's going to be a great conversation and I'm so excited to host the show. Um, it will be the first episode of a long-standing monthly show that we'll be doing. So we're really excited about that. Um, we've got some amazing partners out there in this world. Um, we've got, um, Palo Alto Players is doing last five years. They just extended it. So you can go over to paplayers.org, check them out, get a digital ticket and watch the amazing production that they put together of the last five years. Um, it's, it's a it's a great production a great cast um it's just really good show um turn them on check them out they're great city lights our our lovely family down there at city lights is doing amazing things they had their jeopardy last week uh and this week i think they've got a couple other shows coming up on friday so check out their um their website um at citylightsctc.org um then we've got our amazing friends over at the dragon theater um and you can check them out i'm just pulling them up now because i forgot to put them on here with everybody else so we're just flying by the seat of our pants Woo! <clears throat> they've got some amazing events coming up including the um dragon eggs live at the dragon um they're doing a japanese folktale audiobook club this week which seems really cool um, Sleep, Sleepless with the, the Dragon, I still can't talk, um, is hosted by our very own Sam. So check that out. Um, and they've got a few other shows on their website. You can check them out at dragonproductions.net. And then we've got SF Batco, our amazing friends over at SF Batco. They've got their weekly programming on Twitch. You can check them out. Um, they are uniting artists and audiences through authentic storytelling. So you can check them out on their website, sfbatco.org. They've got a show, I believe, coming up tomorrow night um, where they're doing some great stuff. Um, yeah, tomorrow is a virtual informal play reading series from 6 to 7 p.m. So go check them out. Um, it should be a wildly fun time. Um, as always, we want to support uh, any of our fellow theater companies that are on the internet. If we have forgotten you, please let us know, or there's ones that you know are doing shows. Please feel free to reach out to us. Just let us know. We uh oh, uh oh, don't worry, everybody. We're okay. Nope, still can't hear you. <laughs> nah, now I can hear you now. Woohoo! Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I Hi. leaned on the cord and my world shattered. <laughs> Better, anyway, better get a peniston uh, for it. Peniston? I need a peniston. <laughs> um, so yeah, so check out our lovely um, fellow theater companies online um, and see their amazing productions. Yeah. Um, I think that's it for Announcement Corner, so let's bring it back. Thanks for visiting us at Announcement, Announcement Corner. Corner. Cor corner. Cor corner. Cor yeah, corner. That's, yeah, that's about right. Yay. Yay. Right. Okay. <laughs> Welcome everybody. Welcome back to the game. Round two. Round two is old English animals and more. While still going with the theme, overarching theme. Rude sounding words that aren't actually rude. Yee. 
So if you're joining us, if you joined us through the middle of round one, now's the chance to click the quiz kit button just to the right there of Tossie's amazing screen. If you're on a desktop, if you're on a tablet or a mobile phone, it'll be down in the description. Yes, Sam, this is this is Dumpy the Dumpster Fire's favorite part. Here we go. <laughs> you found Jumping it. into round two, everybody. Let's get those those rules up on the board because as Randy says continually, must have rules. We just got, we just got, we just got, we just got more biddies. Oh, from you! Hey. It took me a while to read it. That was really cute. You're like, hey, who is that? Hey, was the biddy? Hey. All right, everybody. Thank you, thank you, Taz. You are. For those biddies. Of course. Have it a shut brothers. Hey, where's those biddies? All British. right. I lost the connection to my I'm, to my keyboard. Great. Everything's going great so far. All right, here we go. <laughs> Question one, Toss, round two. In medieval England, or English, rather, what was an assert? Assert. Oh, oh assert. Is it a vain person, a braggart, Forstead land converted to crops or a Rubenesque painting? <laughs> I don't care who you are. You can't say Rubenesque without saying it like that. <laughs> like like that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I just want to have that like umph to it if you, right? if you did it other ways. Hmm. In medieval English, what was an ass art? Ass art. <laughs> An ass art. Um, yes, a Reuben sandwich would be delightful. I think I'm gonna try a different tactic this Ooh, round. This round. Okay. I'm I'm going to select the answer that comes after my first impulsive choice in my brain. Oh, okay. So, so I'm be like that one. Mm, this. Mm, this one. This yeah. one. Mm -hmm, okay. We'll mm -hmm. see how it goes. Yeah. The correct answer is forested land converted for crops. <laughs> So far, so good, Tasia. <laughs> I'm gonna flex. I'm gonna flex right now while I'm in the Do positive. It. Do it. Here we Ooh. go. Yes. There it is, folks. It was so cool. I was like, mm, boom. All right. Question two. What or what, what? is a boobala? Huh? What is a boobala? A pink ribbon wearer, an Australian bird, an Austra Australian slang for idiot. An Australian greeting. Hmm. Boobiala. Boobala is, is Yiddish. Uh -huh. A booby. A bo <laughs> go on, go on, Dan. Keep All right, it. folks, here we go. We're just going to show you a question. Uh I blame Sam every day of my life. <laughs> a boobiala. A boobiala. I thought it said boobala. It, like uh, boobala, darling. Boobala, Boobala, but it's Boobiala. Boobiala. Boobiaya. Boobiaya. Typo on Quiz Kid. Oh, it's Boobiala. Is it Boobiala? Did I screw? I, listen, I could have screwed I think it was a typo. It was, I think it was a typo. Uh, thank you all for, uh, like, cosmically upset, accepting that. Not my pronunciation. That changes everything for sure. Right? Boobiala. 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 It start, sort of start, loses its meaning. Well, you we went it. from boobala right. to boobiala. Boobiala Boobi. to boobiala. Bo Bobby, baby, booby, bubby, yep. bobby. Bobby, baby, booby, bubby. Bobby, bubby. That's right. The big bobby, black bear. Bobby, baby, booby, bubby, bobby. That's what it is. All right. <laughs> Correct answer is an Australian bird. Oh, so close. <sighs> Yet so far away. Like this, like this. I was like just like just this. out of reach, just out of the light. <laughs> ah, ah, and then nothing. Oh. Right? All right, let's jump into question three. Where would you find... Damn it, Sam. Where would you find... <laughs> A whole hole. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry? Don't ask me to say it again. Where would you find a whole hole? 
in the ground a ground? South American <laughs> in the ground ground a South American kitchen drawer in the Pacific Ocean in the ground behind you behind me on the ground ground <laughs> Let me look at this word. Uh, uh, oh, a whole hole. <laughs> That's exactly what I just said. <laughs> you sounded like there was some new discovery. Actually, <laughs> that you said. Well, uh, looking at looking at the options, if I if I were to harken back to where I'm from, I would pronounce it a hole hole. Oh, a hole hole. Which like would a... be Polynesian. Yes. Um, a hole, hole, a hole, hole. They Maybe are. it could be. <laughs> Let's see what the answer is. It's in the Pacific Ocean. Wow, everyone, almost everyone got that right. You're welcome. You guys are fantastic. <laughs> you guys are fantastic. A hole, hole. Now I'm going to see that. I'm going to see that E differently. I did say it Watch right. The... Oh. Yeah. Okay, question four. What is an ass a panic? <laughs> What is an asapanic? Another name for a flying squirrel? An assassination attempt? A type of tree? When you think it's a fart and you're wrong. <laughs> Question four. <laughs> Clearly. Not the first one. Don't go for humor. Go for right. <laughs> uh. What is an asapanic? You can't remember your lines on stage. <laughs> <laughs> you just you just shoot your stage manager an asapanic look. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. And the correct answer is another name for a flying squirrel. Uh, My God! Look at uh, that asapanic. Oh no! Oh wait, you're just way. I think. No, no, no. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. All right, question five. Who would deal a... Well, it's... Hmm? Mm. It's... I don't know how to say this one. <laughs> Act to shite? Yo! Act to shite. <laughs> well timed. Well timed. Act to, sh act to shite. Who would deal with actishite? A teenager, a dog trainer, a geologist, a circus performer. Mm, mm, mm. From asapanic to actishite. 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 Sounds like a rap group. Actishite. Actishite. I feel like they're from Australia. I'm in the negatives, everybody. No, why? The My... correct answer, however. Mm -hmm. Are you ready for it? Let's give it to me. It's a geologist, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah! A geologist. Did I go in the positives? Actishite is a rare mineral. And acting like a shit is not. Oh. <laughs> it's oh. so common around these worlds. Yeah. Tassi, what is a clatter fart? What is a clatter fart? Is it a Tudor era, era gossip, gossip? A Tudor Ooh. era gossip. Whew. Say that Ooh. five times fast. The sound of breaking dishes, the earnings of a busker, and when you think it's a fart and you're wrong. <laughs> I thought that was an ass panic. <laughs> Wait, listen, who knows at this point? Here we go. A clatter fart. Clatter fart. A tutor era gossip. The sound say this. of breaking dishes. Clutter the earnings fart. of a busker. Thinking of speaking of the earnings of the busker. Thank you again to everybody who gave us some biddies tonight. Yeah, you guys are the guys, best. Thank you. I can only imagine that if I was throwing words out like clatter fart or ass a panic on the street, people would not be throwing change me, <laughs> but rather other things. <laughs> Shade. Shade. Curious looks. Hey, thank you for the one bit. Thank you for the bit. Wah, 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 wah. It is, are you ready? Yeah. A Tudor era gossip. What? 
Tutor era gossip. My God, Muriel, you're uh, a clatter fart. Oh no. <laughs> Say it ain't so. <laughs> All right, here we go. Question seven, moving along. What is a fart lick? <laughs> what is a fart lick? A type of Pokemon? A type of workout from Sweden? A type of medication in Ireland? A type of furniture from Ikea? I choose you, fart lick. <laughs> Comes out like that. Right? <laughs> or... Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> or the <laughs> the ever reliable. Oh my! Oh my! Here we go. What is a fart lick? A type of Pokemon? A type of workout from Sweden? A type of medication in Ireland? A type of furniture from IKEA? This one's significantly harder, I think. This round. This round, yeah. This round, I think, is a little bit harder. Y'all are doing great, though. You guys are doing great, really. Yeah. Pam's like, the correct right answer is, it's a type of workouts from Sweden. What? With Fartlick. Will you be doing the Fartlick with me later? Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, question eight. Which of these was not a musical instrument? A bassinado? A humper scrump? A scat... A Sack, sack butt? Oh god, a sack butt? A hurdy gurdy. <laughs> I can't not say that like without sounding like Chef from the Muppets. Here we go. Hurdy gurdy gurdy gurdy. It's a hurdy gurdy gurdy. <laughs> yep. Again, the question is which of these was not a musical instrument? Yes, which of these is not a musical instrument? A bastinado? A hump and scrump? A sack butt or a hurdy gurdy? <laughs> oh man. Hurdy gurdy. Like, hurdy gurdy gurdy. It's gonna be stuck. It's gonna be stuck in your head now. I wanna go to bed counting hurdy gurds. <laughs> Alright, the correct answer is a bastinado. What? A la bastinado? Not a musical instrument. Everything else is. Believe it or not. Wow. So I'm going to ask you, do any of you play the Hurtigurd? <laughs> if you do, let me know. A bastinado is a Spanish walking stick. Oh, there Sorry, you go. Sorry, a walking stick, not a walking stick. Because uh, it just, never mind. It's the night to do it. It's the night to do it. <laughs> All right, let's jump into the next question. People with... Mm. People with pedophobia are scared of poverty, pianos, pennies, public bathrooms. Ooh. They are scared of hurdy gurdies. They have oh a firm grasp on their fear of the hurdy gurdy. The hurdy gurdies. Pineophobia? I, mm -hmm. listen, I would hmm. agree with you. The hurdy gurdy. Hurdy gurdy. Hurdy gurdy. Me too. But actually, it's an instrument. Huh. Maybe that was a purposeful choice. Maybe they're like, we want Chef to actually sound like the instrument. Constantly. Yeah, he's singing a song. Maybe. Huh. I'm here for the chef. I'm here. I am too. Hurdy gurdy. Hurdy gurdy. Question nine. The answer is they are scared of poverty. They are scared of the poverty. Question number 10. Which of these is not a real common name for a bird species? A piplup, a go away bird, a common shag, a banana quit. Which of these is not a real common name for a bird species? It's gotta be a <laughs> you got four choices. Which one are you gonna do? Go away, bird! <laughs> <laughs> I know what I'll call this bird, Muriel. Go away, bird! <laughs> Is that what you're choosing? No. Oh. A banana don't quit. <laughs> 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 nice. The correct answer is a piplup. Oh, what? 
Not a real common name for the bird species, a pitlop. That, you gotta know your birds, man. Yeah. Know thy birds. Question 11, which of these is not a real oh. common name for a plant? Okay, here we go. Is it a sausage tree, <laughs> a stick willy, a salty sandra, a sneeze wart? Piplup is the Pokemon we make fun of. Oh, oh it is. <laughs> Too many. I, I remember A little Pokemon inside. names. Inside like, joke. Yep, yep, yep. We love that. Sausage Catch. tree, stick, sticky willy, salty Sandra, or a sneeze wart. Wow, poor Sandra. And willy. Sandra, salty Sandra. Sticky willy. Sneeze wart. Sausage tree. They like once you pick, you can't like switch it, huh? After nope, point. you're done. Your answers are locked in immediately. Wow. Do 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 do. Right. The answer is a salty Sandra. Salty Sandra. So close to picking that. Right. Question number twelve: Which of these real foods is not British in origin? A fainting priest, a cluty dumpling, a spotted dick, a bubble and squeak. <laughs> Bab's like, I'm just guessing. Just guessing. <laughs> just guessing. It's okay. <clears throat> These got like hard. Like you went steep. Right? <clears throat> we took a hard left in the Atlantic Ocean. We did. And landed somewhere. Somewhere. Try the fainting priest. Priest, oh, clouty is... dumplings, bubble and squeak, fainting priest, spotted dick. This does sound great. Hmm, <laughs> is it really good? Uh... There's see, there's, uh... there's 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 trivia making strategy that that Sam employed here. Yes, there is. P peaks and valleys. It's it's storytelling. It's, yeah, right? Totally. All right. The answer to question 12 is the fainting priest is not yes. a real food. Although they're a dish in Fleabag. Yes, they are. <laughs> Quite the dish. All right. Question number 13. When dealing with rural, rural British sheep farmers, how much is a tether dick? Tether a dick. Tether a Tetheratic. There it is. <laughs> I I appreciate that the first read on that was like a hundred percent commitment. Listen, you always gotta commit even when you're wrong, and then you go, wait a minute, I think I said that wrong. Let's adjust on yeah. round two yeah, and yeah. maybe round three. <laughs> so when dealing with rural <laughs> rural juror, when dealing with rural Brit rural I can't do it. British sleep sheep farmers. Sleep farmers. Hmm. Oh, how much is a tetheratic? Half a dozen, however much you tithe, seven less than a bum fit, or depends on how much the sheep weighs. E well, let's see. I feel like this quiz is that that meme with all the different shape. Like, thank you, Sam. I tried yeah. to make it a little more sophisticated because I felt real naughty saying it. <laughs> is it a good toss? What did you say? Some of these questions make me feel like that uh, hangover moment w in the movie where it's got the different like equations. Yes. Uh, like... Yes. Oh, when dealing with a rural British sleep British sheep farmers, how much is a tether a dick? <laughs> correct answer is seven less than a bum fit. There it is, folks. Seven less than a bum fit. And if you don't nah. know what a bum fit is, yeah. Sam will tell you and or your good friend Google. All right, let's jump to question 14. When do you need a bummer shoot? <laughs> when do you need a bummer shoot? When it's wet outside? When you're gardening? At the doctor's office? In the bathroom? Uh, Madam says, so sheep farmers had counting rhymes. Bumfit was 20 and th th 20 and thedra dick is 13. There you go. I have no idea what I just said. Well, I think if you said it like in a northern, like a, like a, a uh, brogue, it'd be tetradic, which tetradic. makes it sound a little more like 13, maybe. 
Oh, interesting. When you update your headshot. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that, Rosie. That was a good one. <laughs> Ooh, my points looking so saucy. Saucy points. The correct so answer saucy. is, when do you need a bummer shoot? Well, when it's wet outside. <laughs> when it's wet outside, you need one. It's getting to that point now here in the Bay Area that you're going to need a, uh, a bummer shoot. Yeah. <laughs> we hope. All right, question 15, the last one of this round. Define raw gabbit. <laughs> Is that an angry Is it day? a stew? Well, it's kind of an aggressive looking word. Raw gabbit. Yeah. Raw gabbit. Um, is it a stew containing rabbit? A curse similar to Dagnamit. <laughs> An unpopular sushi. A person who speaks confidently without knowing anything. Wow. Which is the basis of our stream. <laughs> I was going to say, exactly. I was like, hey, that actually kind of ties in together. <laughs> Look at that. that was a, that's a freebie, I think. Raw gabbit. Raw gabbit. Well, if you're thinking about the root word of, I mean, not root word, but like gab, gift of gab, being able to just speak. So if it's raw, just speaking raw, the words aren't cooked. <laughs> uncooked verbiage, Tarsi says. Yes. Uncooked. Uncooked. Well thought, but uncooked. The sushi mm. of conversation. Yes. <laughs> You are indeed correct, my friend. It is a person who speaks confidently without knowing anything. That's you. Well, I mean, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there was more to that sentence. I mean, that was you tonight. Well, this. yeah. <laughs> All right, let me, let me get this flex Ooh. in here. Last yeah. minute flexes. All right, let's get the drum roll, please. The oh, winner yes. of round two oh. is... First, second, Eric and Adrian Reservoir Dogs. Third, Rosie Issel. Congrats. Congratulations. First place in the question scores is our very own stream runner, Kareem Panana. Second place is Jen Martinelli. Third is Pam. I play. Well done, everybody. My goodness. Quite the game this evening. Quite, Quite. the game. Quite. What an amazing evening. Thank you guys so much for joining us. We know, we know we're a little few minutes over, but um, thank you so much for playing with us. Uh, always great to see you guys on this Wednesday. Uh, and next week, don't forget, is Alan and name that tune. Same time, same day, Wednesday. Yay! And um, Thanks thank for having you guys me. so much for joining us. Yeah, anytime. We get to see your face tonight. It was great. Next week, you'll vanish, but that's okay. You'll still be there in spirit. I'll be, I'll be in the spirit. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right, everybody. As always, please take care of yourselves. Wear a mask. Be safe. Thanks. We love you. We miss you. Have a great rest of your week. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you next week. Take care, everybody. Bye.